What's up, folks? It is once again Dr. Remy LeBeau, and I'm here in the X Slayer to provide you exactly what you need to get you through yet another day with the X Men Statue Withdrawal Syndrome. Uh, today we have a showdown video, a showdown of two of the most popular statues that I have on my YouTube channel, two of the best statues I have in my collection, two of the best X Men statues ever produced, really, arguably. That is a very true statement. So, on this side, I think we have something that everybody's very familiar with. This is, of course, the Gambit premium format figure produced by Sideshow Collectibles. This was produced, I'm pretty sure it was produced in 2008. And um, there's a regular edition and a, and a Sideshow exclusive edition. The exclusive edition came with the um, charged up cards the hand with the charged up cards, which is here. Let me be very careful and remove it for you and let you look at it up close. Oh, look, there it is. It's the charged up cards, yes. Um, you see the pink energy resonating from the cards. Uh, there were, I think, 750 of these. Um, chime in if I'm wrong with that figure, but I'm pretty sure that is the correct amount um, the hand goes into the arm with a magnet it's super stable and super secure which is awesome uh, Sideshow is very good at that very good at making sure that all its various ancillary pieces that could easily fall off are securely placed on the statues they produce which is a major plus um, so there was a regular version of this made also with just regular cards cards that are not charged up. Actually, it's just one card. I think it's like the Ace of Spades that he's holding in his hand. And, um, I mean, it's as cool as this statue, without a doubt. I mean, that's the only difference, the hand. Uh, as far as, like, the secondary market goes, as far as, like, what the value of this statue is in on eBay or whatever other venues it's being sold on by collectors because it's no longer available in retail stores, um, both of the values of the regular and the exclusive version have gone up significantly. Um, this statue was maybe $350 when it was first released, and now it's going for, like I think, like $1,000 or between $700 and $1,000, maybe a little more than $1,000 for the exclusive sometimes. It just depends. It depends on the time of year. It depends on how many people are looking for this statue at any particular time. But it's become a pretty hot item, um, and of course you can see why it's gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous um, uh, representation of Gambit. Gambit being an X-Men that was introduced in the 90s. He's a thief. He is a, uh, a he's from Louisiana. He's Cajun. He, um, he has a very interesting outfit uh, that is represented on both of these statues. And... Um, just an all-around like charismatic character that w when I first started getting into the X-Men in the 90s, um, I just wound up like really, I don't know, for some reason, like just really focusing a lot of my admiration on relative to the other X-Men. Like there was something about this particular character that really stood out to me um, and sort of made me love. So, and then of course in the cartoon, like he was represented fantastically uh, whoever did the voice for Gambit with the Cajun accent did a great job and it really brought the character to life in ways that you know you couldn't do on the comic book page on the flat two-dimensional page and I think that had a lot to do also like the 90s cartoon representation had a lot to do with why the character became so popular amongst fans and why I ended up loving him so much so much so that like I've made him I made his name mine like when I first joined eBay eons ago, like I remember I tried to sign up as Remy LeBeau and somebody had already taken it. So I, I changed the spelling of the name from R-E-M-Y to R-E-M-E. -E. And then that just sort of stuck with me, like the Remy LeBeau name. And, and uh, so I've been closely identified with that name for a while online. And now I realize, oh, hey, I could throw a doctor in front of Remy LeBeau and then I can actually have the full actual spelling of the name so that's why my name is Dr. Remy LeBeau but ultimately what that signifies is just 
again, my deep love for this character. There's something about him that just really uh, makes me love him. And so, of course, I'm going to buy, you know, some of the best statues of this character around. And, and I remember when I, it was around 2008 that I first decided I wanted to start. I didn't actually, I didn't decide I want to become a collector, but uh, like, I, I, I don't know, on a whim, like I did like a search online for Gambit statues and this statue came up, the Gambit premium, premium format figure, but it had not been released yet and it was still on pre-order. And I remember I got on the wait list um, on Sideshow's website for the exclusive and then it converted months later. And um, although I was waiting for it for a while, I, I was waiting for it for a while and during that time is when I first started buying Bowens. So it actually wound up not being my first official statue, but it was my first sort of statue because it was the first statue that sort of that I, I got on pre-order, which sort of led to this sort of snowball effect of me getting more and more statues um, and eventually building the collection that you have seen on my YouTube channel and on my blog and that I see on a daily basis and brings me so much joy, so much, so much joy. Um, but this this statue has a lot of has a lot of significance for me in on a variety of levels and but really even if it had none of that significance just on its own in terms of like the craftsmanship in terms of like the aesthetic value it ha it holds like it's just an awesome piece it's just an awesome thing to look at and I'm sure that even people that are not familiar with the character that see it are impressed by it because it's just it's a beautiful thing it's. It's probably the best X-Men statue that Sideshow has released. And so I'm it's I, I'm just really glad that that ha, that title that's that 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 title of the best statue falls on you know one of my my favorite character in the X-Men canon. So this statue deserves all the praise, it deserves all the attention and um, all the demand that it's gotten from from the fans, from people that are looking to buy it, that, that have it. Um, it just, it, it's, it's legendary, legendary, the legendary piece. I'm so happy I have it. Um, and, uh, I don't know if I've said enough good things about it, but guess what? This is a showdown video. So I'm going to be comparing it with this statue and ultimately I will be saying a lot more good things about it. Um, so on this side, you all have seen, um, this statue before I've I've already I've already featured it on its own um, video and I can't actually turn it around completely because it's just enormous but you can see how amazing this custom statue is it's just it's just a beautiful piece all around it's so well crafted it's so dynamic <sighs> I mean it's it's breathtaking in and of itself and I'm just super happy to have it as well super happy like it it holds a, as much value for me as does the the gambit premium format figure um this the this custom statue was created by um a producer in the philippines there are some producers in the philippines who uh create custom statues for uh sort of group commissions by collectors both in the united states and throughout the world in Australia, different parts of Europe, different parts of Latin America, different parts of Asia, people come together online and they commission certain pieces and then they're and um, and then they're produced and, and shipped out. And and, um, uh, you know, it's a it's a hit and miss sort of process um, with this one. I I was highly anticipating it and it was also one of the first sort of custom pieces I, I had bought. So I didn't know what I was going to get. I didn't know what to expect, but just the design of it was so appealing to me that I was willing to take the chance. Um, I wound up paying maybe, I forget how much it was. It was maybe like, I'm gonna say it was like $700, like $650 or something for it, along with shipping, because shipping costs from the Philippines to the US for these large statues tend to be fairly high, over $100. That includes also the packaging that the producer has to create for the statue. So there's definitely a lot of there's a there's a high cost associated with these custom statues, um, which is in part why I've stopped buying them. Also, there's you know the 
the fact that like oftentimes we'll get something and it won't necessarily come out the way it was it was promised to come out or there's like certain flaws that are maybe uh, just too big to to forgive um it, for a variety of reasons i've stopped buying these custom statues but i'm glad that i was able to get this one now this one did come in um not 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 as perfect as i would have liked it to have been so i wound up as i said in my in the individual statue video i wound up repainting it myself and sort of giving it the colors that kind of mirror the colors chosen by sideshow for their premium format figure so um that kind of like the gunmetal uh color for the boots that sideshow that sideshow chose i i repainted the boots with a similar color um I darkened up the the sort of the 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 leggings, the tight leggings that he wore that he wears. Um, I dulled the the pink. The pink was like super hot pink. It was atrocious. Um, so the pink elements of the costume, I I kind of dulled them down and made them a little bit more violet, but also threw in a little silver to kind of give them that metallic -y look, which wind up making it look very nice. And then of course, like this part of the costume up here, uh, below, like part of the neck guard with all these sort of silver lines, um, I gave it that gunmetal look um, as well. And uh, just again, to sort of mirror the colors that were chosen by Sideshow because I think they, 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 made, they made great choices. Uh, and so on top of everything else, like the paint job on this is fantastic. Like they picked the right colors, it looks great. The the pink on his on his um, on his shirt in the sideshow statue is a little bit uh, a little bit more pink than the violet on, that I chose for my for the custom repaint, but they both look fine. It's it's not an issue whatsoever. Um, and then I kind of did a little bit touching a little bit of touching up on the face, like that 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 again that was like the big problem with this statue when I got it, like. I was really excited to get it because it's, I mean, as you can see, the d design is super dynamic and I really, really love like the sort of like the energy arc um, that represents him throwing his cards, which is sort of like this iconic signature uh, design element of Gambit that we, that is just part of how he's represented often throughout the comics. Um, and that was just, that was really the main selling point because it was a, it was an action figure um, produced in the 90s that kind of had this similar uh, arc, uh, the energy arc, and and when you would put it in his hand, it would light up, and it was a really cool thing, and it was actually a decent uh, overall design for the action figure, and um, and I always and and I had that in my room with a variety of other action figures, and and eventually I moved on from the action figures, but I always kind of wanted to have that sort of representation in a in an actual statue, so. That was actually, I think, the thing that really got me interested in this statue was like this energy art because they did a really great job with it. And as I mentioned in the individual statue video, like there's actual cards within, um, there like actual paper playing cards within the resin, um, which just looks fantastic. Like there was a lot of attention to detail paid in in the overall design of the statue and the execution of it. But where it faltered was in the paint job, but that that I fixed myself and and uh, it turned out fine. Uh, but as you can see, it's just a fantastic piece and it's enormous. It's so enormous that it's just kind of hard for me to even be in this video right now. And for and the setup for this was like uh, it took a while because there's just a lot of going on here in these two statues and and it's uh, definitely they're definitely not made for uh, one of these sort of showdown. Um, uh, videos but this is a showdown video and so it's time for a little bit of showing down my friends a little showing down between these two gambit statues two of my favorite gambit statues all right let's talk about the bases here um i there's no way that um the sideshow base could be beat it is gorgeous it's just a big x base uh the red the x is red the cutouts are black um, it's got a very elegant look to it. It's it's got a huge presence because it's it's enormous. It's an enormous base. Um, it's got a glossy paint job. It's just beautiful. So, I mean, the base wins for the uh, the premium format figure hands down. There's just no questioning the the value of of how awesome 
this base looks like it's just amazing uh the base on this one it's it's, it's cool like i really like it like it's like you know it's got kind of like a checkered uh design to it and and it's meant to look like sort of like a piece of concrete that was broken out of maybe like a you know maybe like a floor in like a uh like a casino or something something of that sort i would assume i don't know but um they did a bad job with painting it i repainted it but i need to repaint it again because i didn't do that as good of a job as i wanted to as i would have liked to have done but um it does leave a little bit to be desired just the overall design it's not quite as like sleek as i would as i would have wanted it to have been like it, it kind of misses the mark so as far as the bases go gambitino from sideshow wins that one all right let's move up um the boots and the legs uh it's a tough one because because this the the custom statue is like very dynamic and so you can i don't know i think it's a draw it's a draw between the two because they both do accurately represent the the sort of the lower part of gambit's body and costume um gambit's got the the sort of like the the pink dash dash line going down his leg uh, going down his leg on both the premium format figure and in the uh, custom statue here as you can see there um it, of course sideshows is just you know it's got a better finish it's got a better it's like everything about it is professional it's a professionally produced piece so so it does it, it's not missing any marks as far as like what it was trying to achieve so i it, it's just you can't really say anything bad about it because everything's fine but the dynamic sort of pose given that it's just a, a diff a more difficult pose to represent in three dimensions in a statue it you know kind of elevates like this the you know the custom pieces legs because you know although it it it's not as polished like the final job that was done on the statue the final product is not as polished like there's some rough spots throughout it um that that could have been worked on a little more and would have had this been produced professionally it, it just has a little bit more of that wow factor because it's you know a dynamic pose like he's like it seems like he's running so ah uh, i think on balance i'm gonna have to say they are equally cool they are equally cool um as far as the coat goes i'm gonna have to give the coat to the uh the custom statue the custom statue coat is just is probably one of the most impressive elements of the statue it's so dynamic every aspect of it was uh very carefully executed lots of attention was paid to the details the the wrinkles the texture on the coat um uh the pockets the the coat belt uh the buckles on the arms just everything about it is is you know a lot of care was was taken to make sure that it was done properly and and um and it's also sculpted which is you know another sort of uh, you know uh, sort of dimension of difficulty when trying to create one of these statues you know just i mean whereas with the premium format figure and what makes it a premium format figure is that it's got like this cloth coat that's an actual coat so they didn't have to sculpt it obviously so you know that made it a little bit easier for for them to to pull this statue off um but just the thing about it is like uh, the coat is fine and I love the statue, but had this coat been sculpted, I think the statue would have been even more epic. Um, but what, one really cool thing about the coat is that you can take the coat off. And if you do that, you see that every aspect of this statue was sculpted and painted. Uh, so you could actually display him with or without the coat. So, I mean, that that's a bonus. But as far as the actual coat goes, the custom the custom statue wins like they just did a better job with it and it looks better it looks better than the cloth coat but again like we're talking about gambit gambit sig one of his signature design elements is his coat 
So, I mean, you're not going to take the coat off of sideshows because it just it wouldn't necessarily completely make sense. And um, and you can kind of pose it in different ways. It's got like wires within it that allow you to sort of uh, sort of place different parts of it. Like here, I can curl this up a bit. Um, so I mean, there there's some flexibility in it. Also, um, it, it's it's fine. You know, like I mean, again, I would have preferred for it to have been sculpted, but the fact that it it is what it is, I think they did the best job possible with what it is, which is like this cloth coat. That's that's fabric coat that's like actually on him um, and kind of posable. So, um, you know, it's not a bad, it's not a bad aspect of the statue in any, in any, in any way. But again, just as far as just, uh, you know, comparative value, this one has definitely a less value um, in terms of how, what it adds to the, to the overall statue. So, so far, um, the statues are even, given that the bases, the, the Sideshow one has won the base, um, but the custom statue has won the, the uh, coat, of course. All right, let's talk about the, the energy hands, the, ener the charged up cards. Um, you can't really see it too well on this video. Oh, there it is. So there's the charged up cards for the premium format figure. It's a good job. They did a good job, no matter how you look at it. They look great, and it's a, definitely a great design element. Um, but I mean, you just can't get more impressive than the uh, the custom statue, as far as like the energized cards and the the energy arc. I mean, it looks really impressive. It's really, um, again, capturing sort of that signature look for Gambit. So. I mean, hands down, the custom statue wins as far as like the representation of Gambit's power, no doubt. Like it, it got the, it got it right. Like it got, it, it got it as right as it can be. But there is a one thing that one collector has mentioned, um, which is that the, the, the energy has always kind of been represented pink in the comics. Um, so they did get that wrong. It's like here, it's represented kind of like red and and yellow and orange kind of like fire it's never bothered me but i mean it it is a point it is a point that has been made and and uh, deserves to be mentioned but done but it in, in no way disqualifies the energy arc as being you know sort of valid and also it doesn't take away from the fact that it is a better representation of the power than in the sideshow premium format figure um, so, so far, uh, you know, this, the custom statue is looking slightly better than the premium format figure. Um, all right. So the torsos, both are really cool, but I do like, uh, I think Saito did a better job with the, the, the design, um, right below the neck. Uh, I think the, the, uh, the custom statue is not as refined. Like they just threw a bunch of lines in there. They didn't really think it through. I don't think they tried to sort of capture the actual Gambit design, so it loses um, on that criteria. Uh, and then from from the neck up, I mean, the side, the premium format figure wins. Like the premium format figure got the face right. It got, I mean, the face is fantastic. It's so well sculpted. Um, he's got the cigarette, which looks fantastic. Uh, the neck, the head guard piece looks great it's even got like texture in it to represent it as like leather the hair was sculpted really nicely um the thing that i love the most is like the glossy red eyes um you can still see the pupils in it and then and he's also got the the like the the you know the the stubble on his face which is represented really well as well so much attention to detail was paid in creating the face and the head and every aspect of the premium format figure to the extent that it, it just, it's just, it's unparalleled in quality. Like the quality of everything that's done, it's just, you can't compare. You can't compare the quality, especially a custom. A custom statue cannot compare to the quality of a sideshow piece that was reduced. So with the, with the custom piece, I, they just did a bad job at, with the face and the head and the hair and everything. Like the hair is actually okay, but but in no way does the statue match the quality of sideshows. So 
given that the face and the head are sort of like the most important part of a statue because you know the head of a person like kind of gives that person the it's her or his identity right like sort of defines the look for a person so if you don't get the head right then you kind of miss the mark in terms of representing a character or whatever whoever it is you're trying to represent um, so because Sideshow's head and head guard are so much better I'm gonna have to say that that is sort of the defining defining factor in this showdown that is gonna put the Sideshow premium format figure over the top in, in terms of points or whatever however it is we're gauging the comparative value of each one statue versus another and so ladies and gentlemen I know you've been waiting 25 minutes to figure out exactly who is the be which is the better statue and I'm gonna have to say that it's gonna be the Sideshow Premium Format figure by Sideshow Collectibles um, definitely just an amazing representation of Gambit perfectly well done breathtaking um, flawless uh, Oh, I mean, I guess there's one other thing I could look at, which is the staff, and the staff for the premium format figure is better. Um, also, uh, this one is just kind of like a metal bar uh, in the custom statue, and on the premium format figure, it's you know they took time to like you know make different different um, sort of uh, like components to the staff, which kind of make it look like he could fold it up and stick it where you know in his coat. Uh, I, I, for those times that he doesn't need it out, you know. So again, that's just another another detail that makes this statue what it is, which is like the legendary statue that you know either you want or already have, um, and of course, com and trumps the design and and value and quality of this statue here. This is a great statue, one of my favorite things. In my collection I'm super happy to have it I'll never let go of it I'm sorry to you guys that don't have it and want it like I hope you can find one out there this guy here um, if you want it bad enough eventually one will come along uh, but uh, if you don't get it like and if you have the cash um, this guy is always going up for sale on eBay either the regular or the exclusive version the premium format figure so at the very least you can get a better statue into your collection if you don't already have it um, it is amazing it is worth every penny just take care of it when you get it and um, it'll always hold its value if not increase in value but if you're but it's not ultimately about you know monetary value that these statues hold it's it goes way beyond that so if you're a big gambit fan like the value this statue will will give you um, just having it um, will definitely surpass whatever it is you wind up paying for it so it's certainly worth it uh, if you can afford it for you to go out and get it and uh, you'll be as happy as I am and every other person that owns this statue is all right folks that's pretty much it uh, thank you so much for checking out my YouTube video it is Dr. Remy LeBeau's x uh, as you all know I have regular updates so if you're interested and if you haven't already subscribed and you're interested in keeping up with those um, feel free to subscribe I also have a blog it's called x-men statues of future past dot blogspot.com and on that blog I have photos of the various statues as well as other posts related to x-men statues everything sort of uh, staying within like the the x-men statue category I like to be very tight in my collecting as well as in the things that I put up in my channel and in my blog. Um, I hope I hope everything's good with all of you and I have plenty more stuff to come so stay tuned and as always um, you should put an X in the box because ain't nobody checking me. What's up? Take care folks. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.